historic beaver castle in Leicestershire goes back to Norman times because William the Conqueror's standard bearer first built a castle here and we know that the Normans brought their dogs with them so it's safe to say there have been dogs at beaver for 900 years Walk on nicely. Nice and steady There's always been a great affinity between the Dalmatian dog and the horse and indeed some years back every fashionable carriage would have a Dalmatian Ooh, running under the wheels as prettily as this one with, with me is Keith Sanders. Keith, how long did it take you to train Beano? Beano, about one year, about one year, Les. Um, mainly through the winter, we trained him indoors. And then uh, the first season, after his first birthday, we took him out under the carriage. Is this fairly easy to do? It, it appeared to be. It's the first time we tried it. My wife um, has taken responsibility for training him, basically. Uh, we had him feeding under the wheels of the carriage, and then uh, trotted him up and down in, indoors uh, with a lead just resting under the axle. So to make sure he stayed where he's supposed to be. Get on, come on, under. Is this an instinctive thing, do you think? It would appear to be, yes. Um, it, it was basically quite easy. Are there many Dalmatians under carriages in this country now? I don't believe there are very many. I, I know of about three. Um, but apart from that, um, there aren't any others, I don't think so. An important question, Keith. Does the dog enjoy it, do you think? Immensely. Oh, yes, he does. <laughs> no doubt about that. He'll go as far as a horse. I'm eager to have a spin. Can we go, do you think? Let's go, yes, lovely. Chino. Are you ready, girl? Walk on nicely. Dean on, under. Walk on nicely. Good girl, take it steady. There's a good girl. Take it steady. A bit slow going down the slope here because the horse is providing us an all the braking path. Good girl.